Welcome to the spoken tutorial on referencing and dereferencing in Perl. In this tutorial, we will learn about scalar references, array references, hash references, dereferences, and how to add, remove, access elements of array and hash references. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, Perl 5.14.2, and the gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. You should have working knowledge of Perl programming, array functions and hash functions. If not, then go through the relevant Perl tutorials on this website. What is references? A reference is a pointer or an address to a variable, array, hash or a subroutine. It does not contain data directly. Reference is an easy, compact scalar value. Reference will improve the performance of Perl code when you pass or return large data structures. It saves memory as it passes a reference to a subroutine rather than passing a value. Easy to manage complicated Perl data structures. Let us learn how to create a reference. We can create a reference for any variable, subroutine or value by putting a backslash in front of it. A scalar variable is referenced by backslash and dollar sign as shown here. An array variable is referenced by backslash and at the rate symbol. A hash variable is referenced by backslash and percentage symbol as shown in the example here. What is dereference? When a reference is dereferenced, the actual value is returned. Dereference is done by enclosing the reference variable within curly brackets and preceding the left curly bracket with a character denoting the type of reference it is. Let us see how to dereference variables. A scalar variable is dereferenced by dollar sign and curly brackets. An array variable is dereferenced by at the rate symbol and curly brackets. A hash variable is dereferenced by percentage symbol and curly brackets. Let us see a simple program for scalar reference and dereference. Let me open a sample program in gedit text editor. Open the terminal and type gedit scalarref.pl ampersand and press enter. Type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let me explain the code. First line declares a scalar variable $a and initialize to 10. As mentioned earlier, a scalar variable is referenced by backslash and dollar sign. This line will print memory address of the variable that is created as reference. To print the actual value, the variable is dereferenced by curly brackets preceded by dollar sign. Here, the ref function will return the reference type such as scalar or array or hash. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch to the terminal and type Perl scalarref.pl and press enter. The output is displayed as shown. First line shows the memory address where the value 10 is stored. The second line returns the actual value 10. Ref function returns scalar as output. Next, let us understand how to create a reference and dereference array by using a sample program. I already have a sample program. Let me open it in gedit text editor. In the terminal, type gedit arrayref.pl ampersand and press enter. Type the following code as displayed on the screen in the arrayref .pl file. Let me explain the code now. Here in the first line I have declared an array at color and initialized it with three values. It is referenced with backslash at color which is the array name and assigned to dollar color ref. The print statement will print the reference value and the dereference value. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perlarrayref.pl and press enter. 
the output is displayed as shown here. The first line shows the output of the memory address of the variable that is created as reference. The second line shows the actual value that is dereferenced. Next, we will see how to declare direct reference for an array. Let's come back to our program. I have changed the existing program to show the direct reference for an array. You can create a direct reference for an array by using a square brackets as shown. Use arrow operator to dereference. Print statement will print green as output. Here, the print statement takes the value of index of 1 that is green in our program. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Switch back to the terminal and type Perl ArrayRef.pl and press Enter to execute. I will show an example on how to use a direct hash reference in the same code file. So let's switch to gedit. You can create a direct reference to hash by using curly brackets as shown here. Use arrow operator to dereference it. Name is a hash key. On executing this block of code, both the print statements will print Sunil as output. Next, we will see how to add, remove, access elements to array reference with a sample program. I already have a sample program. Let me open it in gedit text editor. Open the terminal and type gedit arrayref add.pl ampersand and press enter. Arrayref add.pl file is now open in gedit. Type the code as shown here in your file. The first line initializes an array. We have referenced an array with backslash at numarray and assigned to dollar ref. Now we will see how to access a particular element from the array reference. We need to use the array index in square brackets to access a particular value and an array operator to dereference it. The print statement will print the value of index of 0. Push function adds elements at the last position of an array reference. In our case, 5,6,7 is added to end of existing array 1,2,3,4. This print statement shows the output after adding to the array reference. Pop function removes an element from the last position of an array reference. In our example, 7 will be removed from the existing array reference. Print statement shows the output after deleting from the array reference. Now, press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type Perl arrayref add.pl and press enter. The output is displayed as shown here. Now, let us see another sample program to add, remove and access elements of hash reference. In the terminal, type gedit hashref add.pl ampersand and press enter. This will open the file hashref add.pl in gedit. Let me explain the sample program. I have declared a direct hash reference that can be stored in a scalar variable $weektemp. I have used curly brackets to represent the hash reference and the arrow operator to dereference. This code stores the temperature values from Monday to Friday. I am using the keys built-in function to loop through the keys of the hash. Print statement will print each element of the hash. We can access the particular value of an element as shown here. Print statement will print the temperature on Monday. Now save the file. Switch to terminal and type Perl hashref add.pl and press enter to see the output. The hash keys and hash values are stored in a random order. The displayed output is not related to the order in which they were added. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about 
Scalar References, Array References, Hash References, D References and How to Add, Remove, Access Elements of Array and Hash References with Examples. Here is an assignment for you. Add new keys Saturday and Sunday in hash week temp in our hashref add.pl file. Delete key Saturday at the end. Print hash week temp. Save and execute the program. Now check the result. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates for those who pass our online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMACT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.